Hey guys, Simcolor here, and today we are going to be doing a different video. I'm going to show you the extensions that I use on a daily basis on VS Code. Keep in mind that I mainly do uh, web development at the moment and app development, so uh, this is a bit specific to me, but most of these extensions are general for any type of programming. In this video, you'll probably find uh, a couple of extensions that may be useful to you, so yeah, uh, let's do it. Before carrying on with the video, I just want to let you know that only around 20% of you guys are actually subscribed to this channel. So if you don't want to miss any single video in the future, be sure to subscribe and to hit the notification bell. So first of all, we have GitLens. This extension is really useful if you are using Git in your project with other people, especially. So uh, it allows you to see each, in each line who made the last commit for that line and see the history of each and every single line of code. Uh, it makes it truly helpful to view uh, what happened before and all of that. You can easily gain quick access to GitHub or whatever uh, other Git-based uh, platform you are using. So yeah, this is a really useful uh, tool and one that I keep under my belt at all times. Next up, we have LiveShare. So LiveShare is kind of a beefed up uh, team viewer for programmers where you can share your VS Code project with uh, other programmers and code simultaneously. So this gives uh, other programmers full control over your code and uh, you can uh, pair program with other people without any hassle. Uh, it is also good because you can set it to read-only mode and that way the other programmer will not gain access to the code or better yet, he, uh, the programmer will be able to view the code but he, he won't be able to make alterations to the code which is also useful. This is a tool that I've been using a lot uh, these past few months and it has not let me down. Next up, we have Bracket Pair Colorizer 2. Um, this is a, a visual uh, extension. It allows you to view uh, pairs of brackets, either there are parentheses, curly brackets, whatever, uh, with their specific color. So this is good because if you have a lot of callbacks within callbacks within callbacks, then it becomes easier to view exactly where the last bracket is and where you are at the moment. So this is just a visual hint for you, uh, a really good and simple extension. Next up, we have snippets. So uh, any snippet extension is an extension that basically allows you to write really repetitive code and boilerplate code in general really quickly by typing a few commands. So for example, uh, I use ES7 React GraphQL uh, React Native Snippets. Uh, this is an extension that I use mainly for React and by typing RFC, for example, it creates to, uh, for me a, function com a functional component uh, just like that. Typically, it is a really hard code to keep in mind and code that you use a lot. Uh, really verbose so it is awesome that you can just type like three letters and get a bunch of code generated for you. This depends on what type of uh, programming language you are using. Anytime you pick up a project, depending on the language that you are using, go in the VS Code uh, store and try to find one specific to you. Search around, uh, look at the commands and see if they are useful for you. Another visual extension is Peacock. So Peacock is uh, just an extension that changes uh, the color of the VS Code window, which is useful if you are, have a lot of Visual Studio Code windows open and uh, you sometimes lose track of what, where you are and what uh, window you have to be on. So I use this because, for example, I have a window for the front end, a window for the back end, a window with to-do lists and a window with God knows what. So uh, by changing the colors of each and every single window, I'm more easily able to find what I'm looking for and make sure I'm not searching around in the, the, in the screen for what I want. Then we have Turbo Console Log. This is a really simple extension, which allows you with a command to write down a console log, which will be readable within your terminal or console log or debugger, for example. Uh, it uh, gives you a context for the console log 
so that when it appears within your debugger or terminal, you know exactly what function called it and what class called it, for example. So it is really useful in that sense, because if you have a bunch of console logs, then sometimes it becomes hard to comprehend and know where they came from. Then we have one of the most simple uh, plugins, uh, which is random. Random simply allows you to generate a bunch of number of things uh, within your code, within your test text editor. So for example, if you want to generate an, a random email for test purposes, then uh, random allows you to do that. It also does colors and integers, a bunch of things. This isn't useful all the time, obviously, but when it is, it is at the, the tip of your fingers and you just have to click on two things and there you go, you have your number thing uh, generated. So yeah, it is useful. Error handling is important, we all know that, uh, but sometimes it is hard to find where the, the error came from uh, and it doesn't pop up to you. So error, error lens is a great plugin for you in that case because it highlights the line where an error uh, was thrown uh, from your application. It also points out warnings uh, and yeah, it works for a bunch of languages, although I will say that it works better for C Sharp. However, it works for JavaScript and Python as well uh, from my personal experience. So yeah, give it a try. It is a really simple and a really useful one. We are getting to the end. So uh, now we have code time. This plugin simply allows you to view the time spent programming, the time spent on VS Code, what, how many lines of code we've written in that day or in the past month, whatever. Um, so it is useful if you are making a project. And as I always say, it is important to keep track of how much time you're spending in a project so that you are not wasting time and you are not costing excessive amounts of money to your clients, for example. So this uh, application, this plugin by Yat is really good for that, even though there are applications on, that you can uh, use on Chrome or on your smartphone, these can count exactly how much time you've been just programming. So yeah, this is a useful one, especially if you are uh, doing uh, freelance work or working for clients uh, in your company, for example. Finally, we have Spotify. I don't like to have m that many windows open in my work environment. So uh, real estate is important for me. And for that case, I have Spotify installed and it uh, allows me to have a simple bar to skip music, pause music and do things like that. This way I can really focus on the code and not waste space in my screens for uh, an application like Spotify. Uh, so yeah, a simple one, but yeah, it comes in useful whenever you need it. But yeah, one that I always have installed. So that's all. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have an extension that I didn't mention and that you find really useful, please do leave it down in the comment section so that others can see and that I can learn from you. So yeah, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And yeah, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Ciao. Thank you.